Hey, everyone, and welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Ruth Perkinson, and I'm very excited to be with all of you today. Um, as most of you know, or many of you know, we have changed the name to our channel. We're calling it the Magical Miracle Free Trade School, or just for short, we can call it the Magical Miracle Network. We're going to call it that, just real simple and easy. We are a network of light workers. We are a network of light healers. We are a network of beings bringing the light into this world and waking up from what I call the terrible, awful dream of separation into the happy dream of unity and innocence and love. And what a great message to teach ourselves, each other, our families, to teach the children, to teach all of us that it's all about love, light, healing, forgiveness, reparation in our hearts and minds. And so I just wanted to say that just as we open up this uh, transmission for today, that I'm super grateful to have our in-house expert with us. Her name is Chris Surma, and she is coming to us from outside of Chicago, Illinois, and she's become a dear friend of mine so much this year. So Chris, just say hi to everyone. Hello, hello, Ruth. Hello, everyone. <laughs> We're so grateful to have you. And uh, and so, and also just while I'm thinking about it, everybody, Chris is now beginning her new own new YouTube channel, which we can share in the description um, after we finish up this recording today so people can begin to find you. What is the name of your new YouTube channel, Chris? It is Resonant Healing. Yeah. Resonant Healing. And that's R-E-S-O-N-A-T-E Healing. And you can uh, type that into a YouTube search and find Chris. Um, new channel. And she is herself a channel uh, from the higher realms. And so today our subject, right, Chris, is going to be angels. And it we is. might do some uh, transmission as well today. So I'm super excited to be talking about angels. And so before I tell my story, I would like to see if you could tell maybe your story about uh, Archangel Gabriel. Would that be cool? Uh, yeah, it would be. Because <laughs> it was pretty cool. <laughs> it was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Um, this was, I'm going to say, two and a half years ago. And um, I was in a sleep state. And uh, I was awakened and I felt something on my foot, move my foot. And uh, I opened my eyes and I looked and at the foot of my bed was a angel, huge, just a huge angel. And I was shocked uh, in the beginning because, you know, I, I, it just took me by surprise. And there was a little bit of a fear there because it just, it was so surprising to me. And uh, I just looked and I just eventually just went back to sleep, turned on my side and went back to sleep. But I, I do believe that uh, I was meant to see this angel and uh, there was a message behind it. And so he did, awakened me so I could see him. And uh, the, so fast forward, uh, he had uh, an Akashic uh, Records reading by our dear friend Candy. And uh, I asked her about this and she said, I thought it was Michael. And uh, she said, no, it was actually Gabriel. And that uh, the message basically was that it was time. Time to wake up. You've got something to do. And uh, so here I am. I'm wow. doing it now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what yeah, a, it what a way beautiful. to get your attention, right? What a way yeah, to get was, <laughs> Yeah, no kidding, right? It's, he was just huge. He was beautiful. It, the, he was, uh, I like a champagne color. I could see the wings and it was just so large you know and that's what took me by surprise yeah uh, but it was such a beautiful experience for me that's something you'll never forget ever 
Wow. So, that was my experience with, with the angels. <laughs> now, did his face look like, you know, like Bradley Cooper or Ryan Gosling? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I couldn't even describe the face. It was more uh, the body because uh, how, how large he was and the wings. And uh, so that's what I remember the most. So the face uh, could not really make that out. And, and it was really just a few seconds before I just kind of dozed back off. But and then when I woke up, I said, wow, that was, you know, was that a dream or was it not? And I said, no, it definitely was not a dream. That was real. And <laughs> so it was just uh, something that I'll never forget. It was so beautiful. That was Wow, really got your attention, huh? Oh, my goodness, yes. It got my attention big time. <laughs> That's yeah. so cool. It's funny how the angels work, right? And um, have you had another experience with angels um, besides Archangel Gabriel? Has there been any other kind of angelic presence that you've noticed? I feel the presence, uh, but I haven't seen the presence. And I do know that they're present because they'll leave me gifts of feathers and so on and so forth and I so I know they're incredibly supportive uh when I was first going through my awakening uh, I was out in my backyard and I would just say oh there's going to be a feather there or feather there I'm just kind of like testing them in, in a way <laughs> and uh sure enough I turn around and there it was and there it was and it's like okay <laughs> this is really happening so um yeah you know they're um they're playful they're loving they're just beautiful and I just feel them around me all the time we know they're there we know they're yes. there they're we know that they're working with us. They're guiding us and uh, in their gentle way. Yeah. Right. And it's so important for our listeners to understand that anyone can tap into the angelic presence. They are a higher realm energy that is here to help support us. And we can just talk to them. They can work with us in our dreams. They can work with us during the day. Anytime you feel like you need a little help, you can just call out if you feel connected to an angelic presence in any way. It could be Archangel Gabriel or Uriel or Raphael or Michael, right? Oh, exactly. It doesn't matter. You just call their name and they're there. Right, exactly. Definitely. And uh, just on a side note, I'll tell you, we were talking a little bit before we hit the record button that um, about maybe four or five years ago, I had a similar experience. I'm, I'm visually impaired. Uh, I think most people on this channel probably know this. And so um, I, I have a very difficult time uh, seeing, you know, I've I'm, I'm got some, some issues here with both eyes. I can see very well peripherally. So, but funny how my mystical experiences sometimes happen in the most ordinary ways. I went to the bathroom in the morning, I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I'm seeing a purple and green light in my field of vision. And I thought that it was something in my eye. I was like, oh, there's something. So I, you know, I was like rubbing my eyes and I'm just going to show my eyes because I, I never really do that. I always have these darker glasses on, but I was rubbing these eyes and I was like, there's something, you know, there. And it was just like a window had opened and there was just this static, still purple and green color. And I just didn't know what to do about it, honestly. Um, and I just kept moving on in my, in my experiences. But then what I noticed was the more I did the work, like you do the work, um, that the, the actual color got bigger and then it got bigger and then it started to move mm -hmm. and then it got bigger and then it got bigger and then it got even bigger. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in the recent years, last few years or more, now I see a vibration of light from behind me go all the way around, like in a circle, around, down around my feet, and then back up around. And when I'm really tuned into the angels, I see it very vividly. And when I'm doing my uh, work with my clients, I see it very vividly. And then that zero point singularity will start running. Um, but it's all light, all colors with me. And it's so ironic because I've got these mm -hmm. eyes that are visually challenged. And so I see purple light, 
green light, gold light, white light, blue light, indigo light, rose light. I see colors that are not on the spectrum. And I, when I was asked one time or asked, I think a, a guide, I said, what, you know, what is this? And he said, it's a divine angelic presence. And I see the divine angels and they're working with me in a way that is right and good for me, for my system. And uh, so I just wanted to share that with you and with the viewers, because I haven't really done that so far. I've been interviewing you and doing these things, but I haven't really talked about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's time to talk a little bit about Ruth too, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll try. Yes. Yeah. 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 So yeah. So and then um and then they started to work with me. I think we can both talk about this freely in spontaneous movements. I've been having you know, spontaneous mm -hmm. movements that come through the angels, and then also the um I call it the Buddha energy, which is very hilarious and funny and very truthful, and then also with me comes through the Christ energy, which is um, what I call the divine feminine and masculine as one will come through. It's very gentle energy. Mm -hmm. So I call it the A, angel for angels, the B for the Buddha and the C for the Christ. So it's the ABCs, right? I'm in school here with the ABCs and uh, they definitely come through to help me. Um, I had to come out to Heather and go, wow, all this is happening. And so she's, she's like, ah, whatever. She doesn't care, you know, but <laughs> But she really enjoys it too. And I've had so much fun with um, these beautiful higher realm beings, right? Oh, just, just, you just can have fun. You just tap into them and they're there. They want to assist. They want to have fun with you and to bring you fun and, and joy and happiness. And so, uh, yeah, if you can just kind of home in on that you know and your energy and they're there they're just right here for you so it's just a beautiful thing it's just beautiful yeah it truly is and if you can just sort of like push your ego away um just kind of put it over there and then just join activate your mind with spirit as i do it this way sometimes you activate your mind with spirit and ruth the personality of ruth goes into a back seat right? And then the angels are able to kind of come through the Buddha or the Christ energies to come yeah. through and access my system that is right and good for me. And then they can speak through this, this thing right here, right? Yeah, that's exactly how it works. <laughs> it sounds yeah. like Ruth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. You just kind of surrender to it, you know, and just allow, just allow it to come through. And it's easier than you think. Everybody can do it. I know, yeah. right? We're all channeling, you know, we're all channeling, you know, whatever, and a, a higher realm energy that's mm -hmm. if it's coming through with that energy of that Christ energy, the Buddha energy, the angel energy, you can guarantee that is coming from higher up. And that's coming down into our systems to help assist us as we are climbing into unity consciousness. You know, hey, and while we're speaking of unity consciousness or unity awareness, I, I like to call it unity awareness. Um, do you have any thoughts about 5D or unity awareness? Uh, or maybe you're, you can do a little light language with that? Uh, sure. Let's try some light language. And once again, I don't know what's going to come through. So <laughs> <laughs> just going to trust, right? We're trusting. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to trust. Work. All and right, everybody, get into your trust zone. Get into my trust zone. And let's see if they have a message for us today. Ahia <laughs> They are here. Call on us. Let go. Karnota. Let go, let go, let go. Hranitikia. Karyanoya. Kore so much is there for you. We want to to assist. 
Kolja na te, kolja ti to tarije, ki je orda tarijanja na toje. We come around you and around you and around you. Kolja na te, tarija ta tija. Arja no, karja no fio. Fio, kolja ti ki ja na tija. Karja no, here. Kata no, kati ki, kania. Kosa na da te arona. Karja no te arja tua kati ki ania. Kata na ti, ki rotaria, ki ki di, to tori a ti, ki na ki ti. Karja to ti, ki 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 ti, that's beautiful <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> they had to show their playful side there. <laughs> they are very playful like the devas and the nature spirits are so playful right Yes, they are. I love it when they step in like that because, yes. it, you know, there's seriousness with it. And then you get this playful side of it. And it just shows you that there's so many facets to, you know. Yeah, it's beautiful, Chris. Yeah, it really is. And I think that I'm so grateful that you're channeling this, these energies because I really want to reach out to the beings who are watching this to really begin teaching our children um, mm -hmm. that they can talk to their angels, they can talk to their friends. As long as they're coming from a very high vibration, let them, let them talk to their angels, let them talk to their spirit guides, right? Oh, yes. And I bet some of them already are. And many children right now are speaking light language. Um, and of course, some of the adults aren't aware of it. But uh, you bet they're yes. already doing it. This is a new energy that's coming in with these, um, you know, new beings who are coming in today. So, yeah. yeah, they're they're coming in and they're ready to really teach us. You know, uh, we are all in Earth School here. We're in this classroom of waking mm -hmm. up from duality, waking up from that the dream of separation, waking up from sickness, waking up from death, waking up. We're disagreeing with all that now. We are disagreeing with the ego's interpretation of separation in favor of the Holy Spirit's interpretation, which is we are one with source, we are one with God, we're going into 5D, we're in 5D, we're thinking together, all minds and hearts are joined. And love is the way, right? Love is the way, all the way, yeah. It's the only way. <laughs> the only way, love is the only way, yes. And so, you know, this is the, um, the magical miracle network um, and we are, this is a free open source place where people can come to get energy transmissions, to get teachings. Uh, we've got lots of beings in this network uh, who are coming, stepping up to the plate like Chris and like me to out really give the information out there that we are, we've got support and we are waking up. And uh, I'm so excited about all of that. And I'm really excited. Next week, we've got a gal coming on to do some breath work. Uh, we've got um, my friend Kim is coming back on to do some teaching. We just, and and others as well, I can't think of them all right now, but they're all coming on to give the information to all beings. And we really need to start a new school on planet Earth. I am very vigilant for this. We need to start a new school on planet Earth that's open and free and loving and healing. You can do it at home. You can do it in your neighborhood. You can do it wherever you are at, at the mall. It doesn't matter. But everyone is becoming, I feel, and I hope, an earth angel. And we really need to let that message come through. Right, Chris? Absolutely. 
Well said. Yes. So any um, anything else you want to share before we end our, our chit chat today? No, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, today's chat and look forward to the next one. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming on. You are our in-house expert on light language, and I so appreciate your gifts and your talents and your abilities. And guys, if you want to reach out to Chris, she's an amazing healer. Uh, we'll put her information in the description box, but please share this information. Please share it as you feel inspired. We have got to be the mighty network of angels that we're being called to be. And I really appreciate um, everyone out there just sharing this information as best you can. So on that note, I will say I love all of you guys. Uh, be well, be happy, um, be patient with me while I find the stop button here. And we'll see you all in the next video. God bless you, Chris.